Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through fourth grade mathematics with number 11 and day number three part of the curriculum, which may be found on page number 109 of your workbook. So if you've got your workbook, workbook over there, please turn to page number 109. If not, you're welcome just to watch the board with me. The content's going to be there in front of you as well. So let's try to get started. So today we're going to be talking about how to subtract fractions. Okay. So yesterday we talked about how to, how to add fractions together, like fractions, unlike fractions, fractions with mixed up numbers. But guess what? We're going to apply the same kind of con concepts to subtracting fractions from each other. Watch this example. All right, so this is day number three. All right, day number three. All right, so subtracting fractions. Subtracting fractions. Okay. So we applied certain concepts to addition of fractions yesterday. We are going to apply the same kind of concepts to subtract fractions from each other. So take a look at these fractions here. So this is three quarters minus two quarters. Well, both fractions have the same denominators. So if denominator one is equivalent to denominator two, then guess what? Your life is easy. <laughs> so all you need to do is to draw that line like that, put your denominator here, and then you're gonna ask yourself, what is three minus two? And three minus two is one, so that is gonna be equivalent to one over four. Three quarters minus two quarters is equivalent to one quarter. We can do that really easily because we have the same denominator. All right. And what about if we have a mixed number like three, six over eight minus two, three over eight? Well, we can do that one or two ways. So we can say, what is three minus two? Well, three minus two is gonna be equal to one. Then we can say, what is six over eight minus three over eight? Well, that's gonna be equal to eight, six minus three, which is three divided by eight. And we're gonna add it together, which is gonna be three minus two plus six, eight minus three, eight. Well, that's what I'm doing here. So we have one plus three divided by eight, which is one, three eighths. Okay. So that's one way to do it. But another way to do it is to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction, which I'm going to do real quickly because I know you can remember from yesterday. So how do we convert three six over eight, three six over eight to a mixed, to an improper fraction? So you're going to say what is three times eight plus six all right, and divided by eight minus two times eight, all right, plus three divided by eight. So what is three times eight? That's gonna be 24. 24 plus six, that's 30. 30 divided by eight minus two times eight is 16. 16 plus three, that's gonna be 19. Minus 19 divided by eight. Now, since the denominators are the same, we are gonna say that's an eight, so that's 30 minus 19, which is going to be equivalent to 11 over eight. Well, your 11 over eight is gonna be the same thing as one, three, eight, because when you do this, 11 divided by eight, and ask yourself what is the multiple of eight that is close to 11, that's gonna be eight itself. How do you get eight? That's one, one times eight is eight, so 11 minus eight, that's gonna be three for you. So you have one remainder three, or one three over eight. So different ways that you can use to 
subtract fractions from each other. The fractions are uh, mixed fractions. You can use this method as well. But the, the preferred method is this one actually. So you want to make sure you convert the fractions first into uh, mixed numbers, um, to a whole number, <laughs> to an improper fraction. All right, so this is mixed. This is a mixed fraction. Convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction here, and then you can follow the same logic to subtract one fraction from another. So, but this is if the fractions are uh, like fractions in the sense that they have the same denominators. But what about if the fractions do not have the same denominators? Then you're going to have to think about your LCM. Right, lowest common multiple, just like we talked about yesterday and two days ago. So let's take a look at an example like that. All right, so a lowest common multiple concept is going to be applicable to your subtraction of fractions as well. So let's look at this one. What is three fifth minus one tenth? How do you do this? Now, th these denominators are different. 5 is different from 10, so they are not like fractions. We call this kind of fractions unlike fractions. Why? Unlike fraction. Why? Because denominators are different. Denominators are different. All right. So the other time we had something like three quarters minus two quarters. Well, these ones are like fractions. Why? Because denominators are the same. Okay, denominators are the same or they are equal. Unlike fractions, like fractions. So how do you do subtraction with unlike fractions? Guess what? You're going to find the LCM. So you can find the equivalent. So you can say 3 over 5 minus 1 over 10. What is the multiple of 5 that is common to 10 as well? Mm, well, I can say 10 because I know 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And I know that 10 times 1 is 10. Right? And 10, 10 times 2 is 20. So there is a multiple of 5 that is equivalent to 10 over here. There's another multiple of 10 that's equivalent to 10. So the lowest common multiple here is going to be 10. You can as well just say, well, 5 times 10 is going to give me 50, but that's going to be a bigger fraction for you to work with. So we want the LCM. LCM is going to be 10 in this category. So you're going to ask yourself, what is that number that I am going to to multiply by 5 to give me a denominator of 10. So you're going to say what is 3 fifth multiplied by 2 and 2. That's going to give me 10. Okay. Minus 1 over 10. And what is that number that I am going to multiply by 10 to give me a 10? That's going to be 1. 1, 1. Okay. So we're going to say this is 3 times 2, that's going to be 6 divided by 10, minus 1 divided by 10. Now, we've converted both fractions right now to like fractions. So we can do the subtraction really easily over there. So that's going to be 6 minus 1 divided by 10, which is going to be 5 over 10. <laughs> so 3 divided by 5 minus 1 over 10 is going to be equivalent to 5 over 10, which is actually equivalent to how? Because when you divide 5 here, you get 1 here. Divide 5 here, you get 2. All right. So that's how to do subtraction of fractions over there. You're going to check if the fractions are like fractions or unlike fractions by taking a look at their denominators. And then once you take a look at that, you can apply the same logic to do subtraction problems. All right. Okay, so please go ahead and turn to page number 110. You are going to see additional exercises over there so that you can master this content a little bit better. I want to thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with you.
hero sport I will be your friend So don't you worry